this point, I'm utterly convinced that what I filmed is a very large school of Mulloway. So if I'm going to take a guess, I'm guessing that this is anywhere between 70 and 90 centimetres, maybe to the metre mark that these fish are. I roughly tried counting them on screen and how many of there were because I clearly didn't get them all in shot. I counted about 70 and I didn't see them all. I'm figuring that there's more than 100 there. I never heard about this sort of thing happening in around Melbourne. These fish are like borderline the one meter mark. Let me know your thoughts. Let's play this. Flying in. Now, at this point, I must have noticed on my screen that I've got small fish on there. Well, it looked small. All right, and I start padding across. It's in the screens of about, well, just before. Before, the, in this area up here, there was a lot of fish. There's a lot here, and you can see another round of over here. All this bottom area, there's, there's a considerable area down there, all right? This is comparing the, the, the relative size of the fish in comparison to the swans themselves. All right. Have a look there. All right, well, we're showing the tail, or the points on the tail. Playing back a little bit jerky, but and now have a notice of the large school. There's the the, the school of bait fish that are here is considerable because I've seen what looks like just a ruffled water or um, what uh, with turbulence. It was pretty clear. It was a pretty clear and calm, glassy day when I did this. You know, there was there. There's another one along here. I can see the water being disturbed. All right. Here are those two fish blocking the exit points. This, all this part in the in the left hand side is an exit point. It's the coldest hand to run down this land where the ocean lands. It's the tallest sound. All right, now I'm playing the thing again at forty percent speed, so a little bit less than half just happens too, happens too quick and I don't ho I don't hang around for long enough because I don't think that this is anything I don't know other than salmon or mullet All right, now you can see the whole bait fish popping up around here. Again, now this is at 100% speed. Okay, I've caught my eye, yep. You can tell they're big. Big fish have the way of, of pat, look, moving their tails around. That's... And again... Because it goes so fast. It's the sharpest cry. The hit goes but why? Where the desperate lie. Far from ever feeling lost with me. All right, now I've enlarged this to 300%. And I've, and I've pushed up the contrast just so that you can see the accentuation of the body, which is clearly silvery and picking up light and the shadow on the opposite side so by me playing around with the contrast i'm accentuating both the darks and the lights all right this is a 600 percent looks like we're looking in a petri dish really
stumbled across this by sheer accident. I'm out there flying the drone, practicing my maneuvering. I'm out on flying out into open water. And this particular day, gone out, and I'm facing into the sun. So on my way out, I haven't noticed anything unusual. Playing around, doing my thing. On my way back, flying back to me, I've, um, I've noticed on screen, you know, so you're looking at a little screen, right? I've got the one with the controller. Anyway, on my way back, I've noticed on the bottom of my screen, I'm like, hold on a sec, they're fish, right? So, you know, and I never thought anything of it. I just thought that they were mullet. But in the grand, I'm nearly 30 meters up. You can't see a normal mullet on 4K or not 4K. You can't. This is not. Anyway, so I've kind of panned across and I've gone off. And it wasn't till quite some time later when I've gone back to review the footage that I've noticed the fish are not small. These fish are like borderline the one meter mark. So, and I gathered that by once I've seen the footage, I've, I'm kind of putting into context relative relative size. I know that they're not up up against one another. You know, like a black a black swan is not is not small. So a black swan is probably Jesus. It's probably about that big, right? Um, that wide, full length from the, this part of the chest to the bottom back tail end right they're not small i'm looking i'm looking i'm like geez this fish are not this this fish are big what are they taylor and then i notice they're swimming around the way that they're swimming is more more indicative or more representative of trout if you've seen a large trout the way that they kind of they've kind of got this slow not quite like a murray cod or a carp they're a bit different they've got this i don't know it's a sway to them this was different this is more slender and it's just got a, they've got a funny way of maneuvering their tail anyway and then the bits of the tail stuck out like hold on a sec that's no that's no salmon that's no tailor and it's definitely not a mullet. They're the only fish, they're, they're the only three fish species that have that profile other than Mulloway. Like, no, I can't be. What are the, these things are like rarer than rocking horse teeth. No, I can't be. Sure enough, I've gone in, I've zoomed in, I've looked around. I am, at this point, I'm utterly convinced that what I filmed is a, lar a large school of Mulloway. This is a very large school of Mulloway. So, if I'm going to take a guess, and this is my uh, this is a, a guesstimate at best, measuring from the size of the swans in relative size to the fish, I'm guessing that this is anywhere between 70 and 90 centimeters maybe to the meter mark that these fish are. I roughly tried counting them on screen of how many of there were, because I clearly didn't get them all in shot. I counted about 70. One time I got 70, one time I got 60, one time I got 65. I, got, I counted about 70. And I didn't see them all. There were more off to my off to my left that you wouldn't have seen. So there's a section in the footage that you there's get there's uh, two rows of fish. They're in rows and they're swimming upwards to block the exit out into deeper water. So the to the right hand side is an area that's blocked off by rocks. On the left hand side is open water, relatively open water, kind of arcs, but it's open water and these fish are in single file two rows of them to block the exit anyway it's me of you know when you watch bbc and you see the the whales doing bubble netting how they start off in a rear ground wide arc and they they slowly circle around tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter with the circling that 
it creates a wall of bubbles that concentrates them into a single area. That's what I think this is. Not bubble needing, but I think that this is them in a, I don't know, like a, like sheepdogs herding up sheep into a confined small space. That can't go anywhere. It's blocked by land. So, but I'm baffled still. Absolutely baffled. Yeah. What do you think? If you think I'm wrong, let me know. If you think I'm right, let me know. I wasn't originally going to post this up online. I know that this the whole topic of Mulloway is a bit of a – some people get really, really arky about it, like, oh, you shouldn't be telling them or other people, like, either way, it's a taboo subject that people don't want to talk about or they're not willing to share information, right? Number one, I'm not exactly telling you where this is, but if you've seen some of my other stuff, you kind of work it out where, where I am, right? Having said that, I frequent the area a lot. I've never seen this ever. I've never seen, I've never seen a mullet on the a mullet away on the surface ever. Anyway, let alone a hundred of them. So, yeah. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Let's use this as an open discussion, right? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts.